I'm constantly fighting leaks around the original aluminum framed windows on my 43 year old sailboat. The interface between the glass and the frames and between the frames with the curved cabin top are notoriously difficult to seal well. Although I like the look of the vintage windows, I finally decided to try a different approach. In this video, I'll show how I made and installed these new frameless acrylic windows. Replacing windows is a good off-season project performed under cover. The first step is to remove the screws, interior trim pieces, and rubber seals. Depending on what previous owners may have used in their attempts to seal leaks, the windows can be a little stubborn to remove. Using a utility knife to carefully cut away the caulk, I was eventually able to pry the windows free with a little perseverance. It's important to remove all of the caulk residue. A razor blade was used to scrape away the bulk. Isopropyl alcohol was also used to clean off the remaining residue. With the windows removed, you often find that the window holes were crudely cut and not smooth. Although not shown here, I sanded the openings smooth and filled the gaps between the cabin layers with thickened epoxy. With my eight windows removed, I made templates from quarter inch MDF. The window sizes were transferred onto the MDF. However, I ended up making the templates slightly larger by adding an extra quarter to three eighths of an inch. The templates were cut out with a jigsaw. Since these templates will be used to fabricate the new acrylic windows, it is critical to shape and sand the edges as smooth as possible. The starboard and port windows are identical shapes, so only one set of templates is needed. The new windows will be fabricated out of acrylic, also known by the trade name plexiglass. Acrylic is manufactured using either cast or extruded processes. You want a cast acrylic since it has better clarity and stability compared to the extruded product. For thickness, I chose a quarter inch thick material so it would more easily bend and conform to the curved cabin top. However, some people prefer to use a thicker material. I chose number 2074, which is a dark gray color with 36% light transmittance. However, you may want to consider 2064, which is a lighter gray with 57% light transmittance. The outlines of the window templates are transferred to the acrylic and cut out with a jigsaw. Cut as close to the line as possible without going over. The templates are temporarily attached to the acrylic blanks with hot melt glue. Mm -hmm. 
using a carbide tipped flush trim bit, the acrylic is trimmed to size on my router table. The template and acrylic can now be easily pried apart with a putty knife. Next, I ease the outside edge of the windows with a small roundover bit. The exact window positions are carefully determined and marked on both the outside of the cabin and the inside reveal on the window. To avoid seeing the cabin overlap on the outside of the window, we need to paint the corresponding border black on the inside of the window. Therefore, I carefully cut away the protective paper along the reveal that was marked on the inside. The edges are sanded and polished. To prepare for painting, the border is roughed up with 220 grit sandpaper, wiped down with isopropyl alcohol, and spray painted black. Losing the aluminum window frames means we no longer are able to attach the interior trim. How to finish the window edges is certainly a dilemma. I decided to use a U-shaped edge banding material to cover the window edge. This is attached with a self-adhesive strip. However, the outside edge of the banding must be cut flush with the cabin surface so it doesn't impede adhesion of the window. This is easily trimmed off with a razor blade. To attach the windows, I'm using 3M's VHB or very high bonding tape. This tape is used to attach windows to skyscrapers and many have successfully used it for this very application. The VHB tape is applied around the inside edge of the window opening. This tape bonds very quickly and tightly. You only have one chance to correctly position the window. There is no ability to reposition it once it makes contact with the tape. Therefore, I located some dowels below the window 
to help position it during installation. Once the release liner is removed, the window is carefully flipped down into position and firm pressure is applied. Dowel 795, a silicone structural sealant, is used to seal around the window. If you shape the tip with pliers, it makes it easier to fill the narrow gap. After taping around the window, the sealant is applied, filling the space between the cabin and acrylic as deep as possible up to the VHB tape. I quickly remove the excess sealant and smooth it around the window with my finger. After about 10 minutes, the tape and protective paper is removed revealing a beautiful new window. This is a big project and takes a fair amount of time. However, it is manageable, rewarding, and very affordable if you are willing to make your own windows. So far, no leaks. Thanks for watching.